Years ago, a torn ACL was a career-ending injury for an elite athlete. With advances in technology, surgical procedures and rehabilitation, however, an elite athlete now has an excellent chance of returning to high-quality sports participation. To keep the joint stable, a set of four ligaments keeps the knee in a hinge-like position while you move. Two ligaments on either side of your knee joint, the medial and lateral collateral ligaments, connect to either side of your femur and tibia and limit shifting movement left or right. The other two ligaments, the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, connect from the base of your femur to the top of your tibia. They cross each other and prevent the knee from excessive forward and backward movement as well as twisting movement in either direction. The rest of the operation is performed with the aid of the arthroscope while viewing the inside of the knee on a television monitor. One or two additional incisions are made on either side of your kneecap to give the surgeon access to your joint. One very small incision is made to anchor the new grafted ACL in place. To start the procedure, the surgeon will insert a probe to inspect the damaged joint. Now we're looking at the torn ACL. Here I'm probing the ACL and here the PCL. The ACL, as you can see, is just a stump here in the femoral notch. As I pull on it, it detaches from the femoral notch and under here you see fraying and tearing. This is typically what a torn ACL looks like. Contrast this torn ACL here with all its fraying and separation from the femur to this one here. This is a patient with a normal ACL. I scoped his knee for a meniscus tear. But you see here, the ligament is intact from its tibial insertion all the way up to the femur. I'm pulling on it, but it doesn't separate. No fraying and no tearing. The ACL reconstruction operation is now typically a one-hour outpatient procedure, performed successfully more than one way. In every case, a surgeon will also inspect the entire joint to determine whether there is additional damage warranting other repairs. Then, the surgeon will use a device called a retroflip cutter to create a tunnel through the femur and into the knee joint. The surgeon will also create a tunnel through the tibia and into the knee joint from below. These two tunnels become the source of the anchor points for the ACL graft. 